Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beard Venture. I'm Carissa. And on this episode, I got one Carissa's going to go crazy for. This one's from Anderson Valley. This is a salty caramel porter. Whew. Pay attention. She doesn't know this. Now, she does know that it's a malt beverage with natural flavors aged six months in a bourbon barrel. But what she doesn't know is this is a 9.5. Oh, sh shakesy. <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah. Bring it on. Um, I like bourbon barrel stuff. Yes, yes. Let's look. Give it a hard pour. I want to see the head. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. Good hit on these. That's pretty. Give you a little extra. Thank you. Okay. So, Boonville, California, Anderson Valley Brewing Company. I've had a couple of their beers. Been it smells a little caramelly. Pleased. Okay. I smell a it's little. I, I smell a little, a little bourbon barrel. Yeah. Smell a little caramel. Mm -hmm. Definitely smells sweet, but it doesn't smell boozy. No, well, it doesn't. Well, I mean, it does, but it doesn't. It doesn't smell like alcohol boozy, but you smell that barrel, mm. which might it's, be masking it, the boozy. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. It has All a right. wonderful smell. I'm going in. I fucked up. You only bought one. Only bought one. Mm. Damn, that's good. Oh, God. Let me get that care. Oh, my word. That is delicious. Okay, if I ask you, did you think that's almost a 10% alcohol no, beer? No, I wouldn't. You get a li little booziness on the back end. Yeah, but, but the problem is, not, is not, you're not going to get that. You're going to mistake the booziness for the barrel age. Yeah. it's Wow. That's remarkably smooth to be that high alcohol content. The sweet's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. The caramel is not overpowering. But the flavor is fantastic. The barrel aging is not overpowering. I still no. taste porter. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, I was a little nervous that it would be a little too sweet for me. Yeah. Um. But it's not. It's it's a little sweet, but it's not. It's not too sweet. It is it sweet. And it doesn't linger. No. That sweetness doesn't linger. No. You really get more of the bourbon barrel. Yeah. On the back end. Which I'm not upset at that at all. Yeah. You get a little woodsy, alcoholy. A little more woody on the back end than I would generally like, but it's not it's not horrible. It's not bad. I'm really enjoying it. Really this. good. I think it's the things that you think about in a porter, you don't think about heavy hop notes. Mm -hmm. Um but it it's not it's not as robust as a stout generally. Um right. but it's not like crisp like a lager. Right. I mean it is what I think about when I think about a porter. And I've had a few barrel-aged porters lately, and I've been super impressed with them. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Overall, I, the mouth feels really good. Mm -hmm. uh, the smell's nice. The taste is is like wonderful. That tastes, yeah. Mm, that um, is yummy. Right now, the only issue that I have with it outside of only getting a single, not getting a six pack of it or four pack, is I can't really food pair it right now in my head. Mm. I'm not seeing what I do with it food wise. Like this is just a drink beer. Yeah. Um, oh, that nine's going to get you in trouble. Be yeah. careful about it. I mean, I think it could go with a lot of things, but a lot of times. Like a food just specifically yeah. jumps out to me. Like this would be fantastic with chicken, or um, this one just 
I think I'm just more interested in just drinking it mm -hmm. than pairing it or anything. Okay. Um, I'm, 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 I'm very happy yeah. and impressed with this. This, this is a very, it's really good, very mm -hmm. tasty. Um, I got it at a new singles, like a new beer place that had a bunch of singles. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that bad. Um, yeah, I, it's I'm good. cool with this. That's good. It's really good. Uh, I'll get more of that. I've had two or three of their beers within the last two or three years. Mm -hmm. um, they're not really in my market. I have to go out of town to get them. Um, <coughs> but so far, I've been pleased with everything I've gotten from Anderson that's really, Valley. That's really good. Uh, yeah. And if you've been pleased with this video, we'd love mm -hmm. for you to like. You know, even better would be great if you were a subscriber. Because if you are, you get to see me and my friends uh, on YouTube three times a week. Heck, I've got like 600 plus, at the time of shooting this video, I've got like 600 plus videos. I mean, um, hopefully pretty soon it'll be at a point where you could watch two a day every day of a year. That'd be pretty rad. If you're uh, just joining us. Yeah, I mean, you, you could binge watch and just go through crazy. I mean, that'd be fantastic too <laughs> if you're a subscriber, you know. Uh, and you could even tell all your friends. Tell and, your friends. Uh, tell your enemies. Yeah. yeah. More beefs. Yeah. Whatever. Um, now, I'll see what I can find about this beer and put that in the description. Uh, you'll also see various links, social media, merch store, that kind of thing down there. Um, I don't know. I'm there for a while. I was only seeing bourbon barrel aged stouts, but now I'm seeing bourbon barrel aged porters. Yeah. And even one or two like lighter beers. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'd like to know what you guys have been thinking about that. And if you've had this, let me know. Or if this video has made you want it, let's talk down in the comments. I love talking to folks. Um, it's really fun to see what other people are thinking about the beers that I've had. Mm -hmm. Um, so let's get down to my ratings. Uh, first and foremost, always the most important to me. Did you dig it? Absolutely. I did. Would you have another? Absolutely. I would, I would definitely have another of these. Mm -hmm. Um, is it pick six worthy beyond a shadow of a doubt? Oh yes. Um, does it have some seek ability? I mean, all of Anderson Valley stuff does for me because it's not in our market. Uh, I have a feeling something like this is not a all the time beer. Don't let the uh, sticker fool you. I mean, so many of these breweries were having a hard time just getting cans. Mm -hmm. Honestly, think you'll see a lot more of this coming. Yeah, I don't have a problem with just, it. Just, I, I don't either. Um, but because it has to be aged six months in the bourbon barrel, That'd be a lot of barrels they'd have to have if they were constantly running this like all year round. Oh yeah. So this might yeah. be like, a, like space prohibitive. I don't know. Yeah. So if you see it, you should you should probably grab one of these. Um, now I do a one pint to ten pints. One's the lowest. Ten is the highest. Yeah. Um. I'm at an eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. I think I could get a higher score if it was on draft. Or if it was on nitro. <laughs> if this dude was on nitro, this thing would be. Oh, yeah. That would smooth out some of that. I don't know. Yeah. I just. I like. I, I like nitro and uh, beer gas draft. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's. You don't have the, ox, uh, the oxidation and CO2 and all that. And it's. Uh, I worked at a couple bars where we ran beer gas, and I don't know it. It could be all in my head, but the beers taste better. Nitro uh, gives it silky. Nitro beer. does make it feel just super silky. Yeah, you know, velvety. I like know. that. I like it a lot. So, to your next beer adventure, we're cutting this one short because I want to drink it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>